Hello everyone, now let us discuss about medical terminology of digestive system. The first term is abdominal. It is pertaining to abdomen. Abdominoplasty. Oplasty is nothing but surgical repair. Abdominoplasty is surgical repair of abdomen. Next is ampulla. It is a sac-like enlargement of a canal or duct. Next, anal. It is pertaining to anus. Appendectomy. Ectomy means surgical removal. Appendectomy is excision of appendix or surgical removal of appendix. Appendicitis. Itis means inflammation. Appendicitis is an acute inflammation of appendix. Ascites is an abnormal buildup of fluid in the abdomen that may cause swelling. Next is bicarbonate. It is a byproduct of body's metabolism. Next are carbohydrates. These molecules are composed of, carbohydrates are the molecules composed of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Carbohydrates are found in plant-based foods and dairy products and are an important fuel source. Next is celiac. It is pertaining to abdomen. Next is cholangioma. It is a tumor of bile duct. Cholangiography. It is a radiographic imaging of bile duct. Cholcystectomy. We know that cholcyst means gallbladder. Ectomy means surgical removal. Cholcystectomy is excision of gallbladder. Cholcystitis is inflammation of gallbladder. And coldocondolithiasis. It is a condition of gallstones in the common bile duct. Cholithiasis. It is an abnormal stone-like mass usually of undissolved cholesterol formed in the gallbladder. The next term is cirrhosis. It is a type of chronic progressive liver disease in which the liver cells are replaced by scar tissue. The next is colectomy. Colectomy means nothing but ectomy is surgical removal. Colectomy is excision of colon. Colitis is inflammation of colon. Colonoscope is a thin tube-like instrument used to examine inside of the colon. The next is colonoscopy. It is examination Scope is the procedure. Scope is the instrument. Scopy is the procedure. Colonoscopy is examination of inside of the colon using a colonoscope inserted into rectum. Colorectal indicates pertaining to colon or rectum or colon and rectum. The next is colostomy. Ostomy means artificial opening. An opening into the colon from outside of the body. Next is CT colonography. It is a method to examine the inside of the colon by taking a series of x-rays. The next term is distal. A portion of the limb. Distal is a portion in the limb that is farther from the point of attachment or the trunk of the body. Its opposite is proximal. It is a position in the limb that is nearer. Distal means farther or away from the point of attachment or trunk. Next is diverticulitis. It is I dismiss inflammation. Inflammation of one or more pouches or sacs that bulge out from the wall of hollow organs such as colon. The next is diverticulosis, a condition marked by small sac marked by small sacs or pouches in the walls of the hollow organs such as colon. Next is dysentery. It is acute inflammation of the intestine. Presenting with abdominal pain and bloody diarrhea. The next is dysphasia. Difficulty in phas swallowing. Phasia means swallowing. This means difficulty. Dysphasia is difficulty in swallowing. Next is dyspepsia. Upset stomach or more common term for dyspepsia is indigestion. The next is emesis. It indicates vomiting. Next is emulsification. This is the process of breaking down the fat into smaller molecules which make it easy for enzymes to function and digest the food. The next is endoscope, a thin tube-like instrument used to look at the tissues inside the body. Whereas endoscopy is a procedure that uses an endoscope to examine the inside of the body. The next term is esophageal, pertaining to esophagus. The next is esophagitis, inflammation of the esophagus. Esophagoscopy, examination of the esophagus using an esophagoscope. The next term is exocrine gland, a gland whose secretions leap through a duct that opens directly or indirectly to the external environment. The next is fecus, it is a semi-solid waste product of digestion. Next is flatus. It is gas in the intestine. Flatus is gas in the intestine. The next is fundus. 
the part of a hollow organ that is across from or farther away from the organ's opening. The next term is gastrectomy. Gastro means stomach. Ectomy means surgical removal. Gastrectomy is removal of stomach. Gastric pertaining to stomach. Gastritis is inflammation of lining of the stomach. Gastroenteritis. Gastro means stomach. Entero means intestine. Itis means inflammation. Gastroenteritis is inflammation of the lining of the stomach and the intestine. Gastroenterologist, a doctor who has special training in diagnosis and treating disorders of the digestive system. The next is gastroenterology. It is a subspecialty of internal medicine concerned with the study of physiology and diseases of the digestive system and related structures. The next is gastrogeogenostomy. It is a surgical procedure that connects the part of the stomach to the geogenum by making an artificial opening. The next is gastroplasty. Oplasty is surgical repair. Gastroplasty is surgical repair of the stomach. The next is gastroscope. A thin tube-like instrument used to examine the inside of the stomach. The next is gastroscopy. Examination of the inside of the stomach using a gastroscope passed through the mouth and esophagus. Next is gastrostomy. Creation of an artificial opening in the stomach. Gingivectomy. Gingiva means gums. Ectomy means surgical removal. Gingivectomy is excision of the gums. Gingivitis is inflammation of the gums. Gloss means tongue. Glossitis is inflammation of the tongue. Hemorrhoid. An enlarged or swollen blood vessel, usually located near the anus or the rectum. The next is hepatitis. Disease of liver causing inflammation. Hepato means related to liver. Itis is inflammation. Hepatoma is tumor of the liver. Hepatomegaly is enlarged liver. Next is herniorophy. It is suturing of the hernia. Ileostomy is a procedure in which ileum is brought through the abdominal wall. Labia indicates lips of the mouth. Lacteals indicates lymphatic vessels of the small intestine which absorb digested fats. Laparoscope. Lapros, lapro means abdomen. Laparoscope is a thin tube-like instrument used to look at the tissues or organs inside the abdomen. Whereas laparoscopy, it is a procedure, it is a procedure that uses a laparoscope inserted through the abdominal wall to examine the inside of the abdomen. Laparotomy is surgical incision. Otomy means incision. Ostomy means artificial opening. Laparotomy is a surgical incision made in the wall of the abdomen. Lingual tonsil. It is lymphoid tissue located at the base of the tongue. Next is lymphoid. Referring to lymphocytes or tissue in which lymphocytes develop. The next term is melina, black tarry feces containing blood. The next is nasal cavity, that is inside of your nose. Nasogastric, naso means nose, gastric means stomach. It describes the passage from the nose to the stomach. Next is nausea, a feeling of sickness or discomfort in the stomach that may cause, that may come with an urge to vomit. But usually the vomiting does not occur. Obesity. It is a common chronic disease marked by an abnormally high unhealthy amount of body fat. The next is omentum, a fold of the peritoneum. That is the thin tissue that lines the abdomen. Peritoneum is the thin tissue that lines the abdomen that surrounds. Whereas omentum is the fold of the peritoneum that surrounds the stomach and other organs in the abdomen. Oral, it is by or pertaining to mouth. Palatine tonsils, a pair of soft tissue masses located at the rear of the throat, that is pharynx. The next is palpation, palpation, examination by pressing on the surface of the body to feel the organs or tissues underneath it. Next is pancreatic, pertaining to pancreas, pancreatitis, inflammation of pancreas, peritoneal, having to do with the Parietal peritoneum or visceral peritoneum. Parietal peritoneum is the tissue that lines the abdominal wall and pelvic cavity. Whereas visceral peritoneum is the tissue that covers most of the organs in the abdomen including the intestines. The next is peritonitis. That is inflammation of the peritoneum. Polyp. 
of growth that protrudes from the mucous membrane. Polypectomy is excision of the polyp. Next is polyposis, the development of numerous polyps. The next is proctoscope. We know that proct means related to anus. Proctoscope is a thin tube-like instrument used to look inside the anus and rectum. Whereas proctoscopy is a procedure that uses a proctoscope to look inside the anus and rectum. Next term is proximal. A position in the limb that is nearer to. Proximal means nearer to. Distal means away from. A proximal is a position in a limb that is nearer to the point of attachment or trunk of the body. The next is pyrolic splinter. It is a band of smooth muscle at the junction between the pyrolis of the stomach and the duodenum of the small intestine. The next is pyromyotomy. Incision of the pyrolic muscle used to correct the pyrolic stenosis. Next is rectal. By or pertaining to rectum. Rectoseal. It is herniation of the rectum into vagina. Reflex. Backward flow of liquid from the stomach into the esophagus. Usually seen in GRD. That is gastroesophageal reflex disorder. Next is sialolith. It is a stone in the salivary gland. Next is stigmoidoscopy. Examination of the lower colon using a sigmoidoscope inserted into rectum. The next term is teoria. It is condition characterized by chronic fatty diarrhea. Next is stoma. It is a surgically created opening from an area inside the body to the outside. Stomatitis. It is inflammation or irritation of the mucous membrane of the mouth. The next is stratified squamous epithelium. It is cells arranged in layers upon the basal membrane. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos on medical coding and CPC training.